This is the OnePlus 11 disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the glass back plate. The glass camera lens cover can be replaced by applying heat and prying it off. So you will need to disassemble the phone in order to replace that. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. There's a flex cable attached to the main board which needs to be disconnected. There are some antenna lines drawn on this plastic cover which are the light gray color lines. The NFC antenna flex cable is located on this cover as well. And the LED flash and light sensor is located here. Looking at the back side, we can see the flex cable for the LED flash and light sensor as well as graphite film to help transfer heat. The battery cable can now be disconnected followed by the rest of the cables. There are also two coaxial cables on the bottom right side of the board which need to be disconnected by just popping them off. The graphite film covering the front facing camera connector needs to be peeled off so we can disconnect and remove it. Here is a better look at the 16 megapixel front facing camera. There are two Phillips screws which are holding down the main board. The main board is a dual layer sandwich design. On the main board, there's the 50 megapixel primary Sony IMX890 camera, the 48 megapixel ultra wide Sony IMX581 camera, and the 32 megapixel portrait telephoto Sony IMX709 camera. The primary camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone on the top corner of the board, some graphite film on the front shields, as well as rubber gaskets around the connectors. There's also a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is that white sticker over there. The proximity sensor is located on the other side, as well as more graphite film on the back shields and thermal paste. Once the graphite film is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste underneath on top of the RAM, which is seated on top of the processor. We can also see a thermal pad on this chip and this one over here. Here is a better look with the thermal paste removed. We also have a better look at the ROM or storage once the thermal pad has been removed. To remove the battery, there are pull tabs on either side to help you pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Looking at the speaker assembly, we can see that the speaker also has those little white foam balls which make the speaker sound larger than it actually is. Those little foam balls are located in this compartment of the speaker. A couple of flex cables need to be disconnected. as well as the other end of the coaxial cable. And then a single Phillips screw needs to be removed in order to remove the subboard.
Here's a better look at the subboard. The primary microphone is located underneath the shield. There's also a rubber gasket around the connectors. The sim reader is located on the other side. Once the subboard is removed, we can see the flex cable for the screen, which is connected to an extension flex cable that connects to the main board. So if you need to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the bottom speaker assembly and the assembly itself, and then you'd have to disconnect the flex cables and remove the subboard, giving you access to the screen cable, at which point you could disconnect the flex cable for the screen, and then you would pull out the red rubber gasket, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive and reapply the new screen, making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. Once the battery adhesive pouch is peeled back, we can better see this flex cable which connects the main board to the charger port, this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, and this one which connects the main board to the screen. And this one runs underneath this other flex cable. Here's a better look at the charger port. There's a red rubber gasket around the charger port itself. Once the flex cables are peeled back, we have a better look at the vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. The linear haptic feedback motor or vibrator motor is located on the bottom over here. And the flex cable for the fingerprint scanner is routed through an opening in the mid frame. This flex cable and coaxial cable are both connected to this antenna board on the bottom corner. The flex cable for the power button is located here, so if you need to replace that, you'd have to gently peel off this flex cable and lift up and pull out the plastic bracket from the frame. And the flex cable for the volume keys is located on the other side. To replace that, you'd have to do the same thing and gently peel off the flex cable and lift up and remove the plastic bracket from inside the frame. And finally, the earpiece speaker, which is located on top, is held in place with some adhesive. If you need to replace that, you just have to apply some heat and gently pry it off. This top speaker also has the little white foam balls in this small compartment, which make the speaker sound larger than it actually is. There's one more liquid damage indicator sticker on the bottom of the phone by the SIM reader. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything is back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.